I've begun my repair work. I've sanded this, so I'm now restain it. And as far as the deck, there's just a little scuff there, and I did do a little sanding over on this side. So I'm going to uh, put a little stain on that and see if it uh, pretty much matches the rest of the ship. And I'll be ready to start reconstructing those stairwells. And I'm hopeful that now my cannons will fit where they're supposed to. I've got all the rail supports in place and now it's just a matter of putting that rail back on and the stairs. I'm in the process of positioning the stairs so this piece will go in here and because I want to raise the stairs up a little bit so I have more room for the cannons and then a walkway I don't know that you can see but I need to raise this up just a little bit about the thickness of the wood so what I'm going to do is create another one of these to raise it up and make it thicker and that's just my personal choice but I think it will help everything fit in better when it comes to this uh, rail the stair rail so let me show you what I found so this I believe is the placard B that had all the parts on it I still have a couple things left that will need to be used but that top rail or banister if I find just the right spot right there I can trace that and cut that out this is black walnut and it'll just make that thicker I finished making this top piece that I added to make it, it just made it a little bit thicker is all I've done. And the stairs will fit back into place. I'll probably put a little thin cap on the top of these where that seam will join. And these are not glued in, I just have them sitting there. So I was able to recover from my error and the floor has turned out fine when I restained it. And again, this part I'm restaining completely because that's a brand new piece of wood right there. I'm beginning work on the captain's wheel, and what I think I've determined is anytime you see something in this set of instructions circled in red, it means there's been a change, and they have improved the, the uh, captain's wheel setup. So it, the only indication you're going to get is this series of photos. I've already covered that the base is 70 and 70A, and that's these pieces in a small plastic bag. Then... The wheel itself is on plaque G. So it does list out all the parts you'll need. Some are plaque or G. There's the, uh, the supports are A25. And there's actually some off of the brass. So that's going to be interesting. So let me get that together and show you what it's going to look like. And what I've decided I'll do, if the instructions are clear, like this is clear, if you just follow, knowing that there's a change in some, if something circled in red, and the new is outlined in green, then that should help you follow along, I hope. It's helped me now that I understand it. So if the outline is pretty well in the instructions, I won't go through step-by-step -step details. I'll just assemble it. But if I run into difficulties, then I'll do more of a step-by-step -step procedure on how I work through whatever the issue was. And sometimes it turns out to be my error not necessarily the manufacturer's error. I'm gonna start at the bow of the ship and review the progress that I've made. I want to mention again that I'm very happy with this tarred twine. I've ordered two more sizes, so I may replace this size with one smaller, but I'm very happy with it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I'll do a review on that product once I get the new ones in. I have the proper supports under this piece now and this L-shaped bracket I did remake. I used some walnut that I have. Uh, I just wanted it a little bit thicker, a little bit wider, minutely, uh, but I went ahead and did that myself. So it's similar to what was there before. And then you can see I have completed all the work on the lifeboat and just kind of tied. I had some twine that was that color similar to what is listed in the instructions. Haven't decided I, about securing that. I don't think I will. I think I'll I will leave it uh, unsecured so I can move it if I want to. 
moving back into this area I finished work on the capstan and the instructions don't show anything about the chains that I have hanging down so I did that on my own and um, the very top part I just took the chain with a very small piece of copper wire finished the staircases and by using these proper supports along here it gave me more space at the bottom of the stairs so I was able to put the cannons where they belong. Very happy with that now. And that was my error. And I did, uh, right here, I just put a small piece of walnut. It was a small uh, piece of a plank to cover up the seam that was there. That was the only change that I had to make. Back in this area, I've finished this cabinet. I probably will secure it because it's so small and then I plan on making a miniature map and maybe some miniature gold coins to set on top of it. Here's the steering wheel. I am a little unhappy because if you look I put it on this crooked. So what I might do is sand the bottom piece so that it appears square. So that was my inattention to detail. The steering wheel did go together as designed in the instructions. This is the brass piece. There's another one there, so that one's just barely visible. On the front side, there are two of the part G13. And then on this other side, there is just one. And it, that's not clear in the instructions, but you need two on this side so it's wider so that you can have the control rope on that side. Now there's not anything in the instructions about the control rope. I'm not sure if you can see that I did run it. Let's see if I can turn this. Okay, so there's one right there going through that grate. And on this side, very difficult to see, but it is in there. Small detail, but you'll want to do that on your own. If you look at the photograph, the instructions, I think you can see the rope, but there's nothing documented about twisting a rope around that and then taking it below deck. So that's where I am up to date, and I'll continue working. I'm just trying to, to go very slow. I don't want to put any of the masts up or start any of the rope work until I'm sure about all the details I want to finish in here. So that brings you pretty much up to date on where I am on building the Black Pearl Golden Version 2020. As always, thanks for watching.